Hi guys, for the first video on the Rhino Feed channel, I'm going to review the Smart Touch Wireless Keyboard by Gearhead. Now this keyboard will set you back $37 on Amazon and about $50 in retail. Now I've owned this keyboard for about three weeks now and so far the battery life has not run out. Considering that it's running off of two AAA batteries, that's pretty darn good. So about the keys, the keys are small of course, but they're wider than they are tall so it helps a little bit, but I'm a good typist, so I got used to it pretty quickly. A lot of reviewers on Amazon hated this keyboard because they could not get used to it. Now the trackpad on this thing is fairly responsive, but um, because it's so small, of course, it's going to be a little annoying to use. Um, if you're using the Mac, you just want to make sure that you keep the sensitivity up fairly low, otherwise it's jumpy. This trackpad includes two-finger scrolling, but also because it's too small, it's a little te tedious to use. The Mac, there's no workaround, so it's just kind of jumpy, but on Windows, you can tap with two fingers and a little dialog multi-directional icon will pop up, and then you can just use your one single finger to scroll around. This keyboard has four multimedia controls, and that is play, pause, volume up, volume mute, and volume down. Now this keyboard doesn't include fast forward and reverse, but if you're using VLC, it has a keyboard shortcut for that. On the Mac, you do Control, Command, and left and right arrow keys, and on Windows, you use Shift and the left and right arrow keys. Although on the Mac, iTunes will take control of the play pause button, so you want to do a terminal hack so iTunes doesn't automatically open. And I'll give you a link to that right here. Now this keyboard isn't Bluetooth, but you don't have to install any drivers. The Mac finds it right away, and the Windows finds it right away. Mac just does something a little different, and it tells you to route the keys. It tells you to press the key to the right of the left shift key, and the key to the left of the right shift key, and it'll map them, it will map them properly. I can't do this. Alright guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, or you can email me at nathaniel at rhinofeed.com. Thanks for watching.